Now under gametogenesis, as we said, there are two processes. One is spermatogenesis, the other is oogenesis. Spermatogenesis is the process of formation of sperm. Oogenesis is the process of formation of ovum. Now the formation of ovum starts when the fetal ovary is 25 weeks old and is completed at puberty. Now as it is completed again it occurs in the germinal epithelial similar to the formation of sperms as we have seen in the process of spermatogenesis. It occurs in the germinal epithelial of the fetal ovary leads to formation of one ovum and three polar bodies every month. So three polar bodies and one ovum every month after puberty and the germinal cells are actually larger than others and therefore they are also called as germ cells. As the name suggests they are called as germ cells, they help in division. The first division similar to spermatogenesis occurs in mitosis followed by meiosis and then there are four important phases which are uh, multiplication growth and maturation phase. Uh, so the three important phases of multiplication, growth and maturation we will understand one by one. The first phase is the multiplication phase. Here oogenesis is formed by the process of mitosis. So oogonium which is diploid divides by the process of mitosis into additional oogonia and this occurs from the egg tubules of the stroma of the ovary. So occurs from the egg tubules of stroma of ovary. And this leads to a formation of a multicellular mass which is known as egg nest. The next is the growth phase. Now growth phase is the phase where one of the oogonium actually uh, grows in the size and forms the primary uh, oocyte similar to the primary spermatocyte in the case of spermatogenesis. Now primary oocyte which is formed actually there are uh, surrounded by granulosa cells or what we call as primary follicles. Now these primary follicles in the fetal ovary is around 60 lakh which are huge number and uh, for a young adult women it increases up to 4, uh, it is actually reducing up to 4 lakhs from 60 lakhs. The next is the maturation phase. Maturation phase is the phase which starts with meiosis. So here Primary oocyte undergoes a process of meiosis but the division is arrested at the dikenesis stage of prophase 1. As a result what happens the fetal ovary polar body remains and a secondary oocyte is formed. Now secondary oocyte proceeds under the process of meiosis 2 and forms a female pronucleus and second polar bodies. Now the three second polar bodies which are formed all of them degenerate but the mature ovum remains. This mature ovum has a female pronucleus along with a male pronucleus which is formed. Now what is ovulation? Ovulation is the process of release of secondary oocyte after puberty every month once in a week from the graphene follicle and this is uh, one of the important stages of reproductive cycle okay the next is the structure of ovum ovum as we know is a spherical a lithical and it actually is differentiated under the animal pole and the vegetal pole centrioles are not present in the case of ovum and this ovum has an outer layer which is known as corona radiata now corona radiata is the outer layer, it has elongated follicular cells and they are held together by hydroluronic acid. The next is the narrow space between the plasma membrane and the zone peduncula which is known as perivitelline space. Okay, so perivitelline space and then the next is the zona peduncula. Now zona Pedicula is basically the non-linear, uh, is the non-cellular inner portion and that provides nutrient to the, nutrition to the egg. So how does this process occurs? Now oogenesis is initiated by the growth hormones from hypothalamus. The signal goes to interior pituitary which releases LH and FSH, the similar as in the case of spermatogenesis. Now uh, what is important is FSH leads to the secretion of estrogen. 
However, LH leads to the secretion of progesterone. So that is what is extremely important to under uh, to understand under the process of oogenesis. In the previous lecture, we had already covered what is spermatogenesis, two very important processes in biology. For the complete lectures and uh, complete study material, refer the links which are given below. Wish you very good luck.